Well, happening now today could be a very important day for firefighters in the northern part of the state as they are still battling two raging wildfires. Yes, they are especially keeping an eye on the weather because if the winds change, they say more than 100 homes could be in trouble. It starts with the Thompson Ridge fire. It now has burned at least 7,400 acres and is just 5% contained. But that could change today because the largest firefighting air tanker should be back in the skies in just a few hours. Tanker 911, it's called. It's an old DC-10 jumbo jet. It drops up to 12,000 gallons of water or retardant on the fire. Here it is right here fighting the Little Bear fire last year. It made one drop on the Thompson fire yesterday and should make at least one more today. Helicopters are also fighting the blaze. And as a result, Fenton Lake State Park is closed. Now near there, firefighters are still trying to keep the Trace Lagunas fire about 10 miles north of Pecos from reaching more than 100 homes, some of them just three miles about that from where the flames are. It has grown to about 9,000 acres. That's 14 square miles. It is just 15% contained. Because of this fire, the Pecos Las Vegas Ranger District of the Santa Fe National Forest is now closed. Smoke from both fires, the Trace Lagunas and the Thompson Ridge, could blow into Santa Fe, Los Alamos, Las Vegas, and Hemis Springs again today. If it bothers you, your best mm -hmm. bet, just stay indoors. And you know, the last thing that firefighters out there want is for the winds to change directions or even kick up. Any of that possible? Right. Kicking up would definitely be really bad. So thankfully, we're not going to see that. There could be a little bit of a wind shift as far as direction goes out over the uh, Pecos fire, the Tres Lagunas fire there. Uh, but that wind shift is going to bring in moisture. So that's actually a little bit of a good thing there. And we'll eventually see it. It's not going to be until late in the afternoon that we'll see that east wind at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Relative Humidity will go up to about 24% and it will continue to rise as we go through the evening and we get more of that moisture moving in from the east. And also, there's going to be the chance for some rain too, and that certainly could help things out. Later today, we'll see the chance for a few showers and storms, and then even better chances over the next two days as that moisture uh, continues to build into that area. For the Thompson Ridge Fire over in the Hemis Mountains, a little bit far west to really get a lot of beneficial moisture, and also a little bit far west for that front to completely make it through. And, and because of that, we're not going to really see that big shift in wind. So winds today, mainly westerly at about 10 to 15 miles an hour at noon, and then uh, south southerly, I guess, as we head toward the 5 o'clock hour at about 10 to 15. Um, so the easterly wind is going to have a tough time making its way into this area, uh, which is kind of good news because you have all those homes on the west side there. Uh, but we will see a little bit more moisture and rain chances here will be there, but they'll be very slim. You gotta you have much better chances the farther east you go. I'll have more details on that front that's moving in and bringing the changes coming up. Be sure to stay with KRQE News 13 for the very latest on the wildfires threatening our state, both on air and online at KRQE.com.